Hello everyone, welcome to this video and in this video we're going to be demonstrating the Fortinet uh, Zero Trust Network Access. So in this lab we're going to be demonstrating how ZTNA would provide user uh, authentication, device identification and provide role-based application access. This whole scenario is going to be for internal user within the uh, enterprise accessing internal uh, enterprise resources. So let's get started. So uh, the lab flow is going to be uh, as uh, the following. We will start with demonstrating the lab topology. After that, we will show how we integrate the 40 client EMS with the AD server. So the uh, client EMS, 40 client EMS would pull the uh, AD uh, users and be able to use them for uh, authentication. We will show how we create on fabric network address. So the on fabric network address is because we are uh, demonstrating this lab uh, for internal users within the uh, enterprise accessing the internal uh, application. So uh, it's referred to as on fabric network addresses. We will show how we create on 40 client EMS, the uh, profiles and the endpoint uh, policy, create ZTNA tags and rules, show the uh, ZTNA tags and rules on the 40 client and on the 40 gate, because uh, 40 gate would pull all these uh, ZTNA tags, so we would be aware of them. Uh, and we will show the uh, client accessing to application uh, without ZTNA tags and also we will create a 40 gate policy and apply ZTNA tags on them and then we will show the uh, 40 the client access to the application again. So let's get started with that. So uh, this is going to be the uh, topology we're uh, going to be working on. So we have the 40 gate in here. Uh, this is uh, the network that is connected to the um, home uh, router in my environment. We have the EMS Windows Server on 20.0. We have the client in 10.0. So the client would be accessing, uh, we will try maybe pinging the uh, Windows Server uh, without ZTNA tags and uh, policy and also after applying the ZTNA tags in a policy. So the traffic flow is going to be from the 10.0 network to the 20.0 network going through the 40 gate. So now we will demonstrate how we integrate the 40 client EMS with the Windows AD server. So if we go to administration and then we go to authentication server, click add. This is where we add the... Um, authentication server on the 40 client EMS. So the IP address is going to be the Windows Server IP address 192.168.20.100. Port is 389. Username administrator. Putting the password in. Uh, I don't need to apply uh, LDAP as for my environment, but it is recommended to use uh, LDAP as in the production environment. So we can have the um, connection between the uh, EMS and the LDAP uh, secure. So I'll go ahead and do a test. So test is uh, successful. All right, so I'll go ahead and click save. Now I'm just going to uh, add uh, uh, domain into the 40 client EMS. So this is the domain name that we have. Uh, within the domain I have a user called admins and inside that user there is a user um, username or uh, a user called John who is part of the admin groups that we will be using to, like, <clears throat> to test this uh, ZTNA functionality. So uh, I have added that I'll go ahead and click uh, save. Now the 40 client EMS is syncing with the uh, LDAP. Uh, now 
the next step is going to be creating the on uh, fabric network or on fabric uh, address on the 40 client EMS. Again, the reason why uh, we're creating that because we're testing uh, a user that is internal within the enterprise. So I'll call this on network and I will add a rule saying this local IP or subnet is considered as on network. So the IP address 192.168.10.0 and this 10.0 is the user network in here. All right, so I'll go ahead and do add rule and do save. Now what we're going to do is we're going to uh, create endpoint profile. The profiles we're going to create for now is system settings. We're not going to use the default, we're just going to add a new one. And um, we will call this uh, internal system or we could just call it internal and I'll go to advanced and enable show zero trust tag on 40 client GUI this feature here would allow me uh, to see what ta on, on the user machine when I open 40 client will allow me to see what tags are being received on that 40 client we'll see that uh, in the lab um, and I'll go ahead and do save I'll clear create a malware protection profile call it internal uh, malware or AV and I will um, enable the antivirus protection now I'm gonna go ahead and create a new policy I'm not gonna use the default I'll call this policy internal policy the users of uh, the uh, endpoint group is gonna be the uh, AD that we added just um, previously and we we don't have right now off fabric uh, uh, profile or group but in the next videos we will demonstrate a user a remote user accessing the internal uses resources using uh, the ZTNA uh, proxy on the 40 gate but for now we're just demonstrating internal internal user uh, now uh, on fabric detection rule is going to be the on net so uh, what we're saying here is apply when when we see when the 40 client ems see a user within this on network which is then does zero apply the following profiles to that endpoint profile we created is internal av and internal for the system so I'll go ahead and click uh, save now next what we're gonna do is we're gonna create ZTNA tags so I'll go ahead and click Z zero trust tag rules I'll click add the first rule is gonna be internal malware so that rule is gonna be saying um, antivirus software has to be installed on running in order for the user to receive this tag which is called internal malware or internal AV uh, I'll call the tag the tag name is gonna be here uh, I'll call it internal AV all right click save I'll create another rule saying that the user would receive a tag uh, it's gonna let's say, call it admins group uh, admin group the tag name and in that rule I'm gonna be saying uh, AD group and admins so uh, a, if a user is within this admin groups it will receive that tag all right all right so uh, now that we have created the uh, ZTNA tags uh, let's go ahead and access the uh, user machine um, 
which is John user machine. So this is John user machine. So uh, John is part of the uh, domain controller that the we integrated the MS with. Also is part of the admin groups. So we'll open 40 client and then we'll connect the 40 client to the EMS server. So I'll go ahead and accept untrusted certificate because it's a self-signed certificate. So now the, the, the connection happened. Um, it takes uh, the integration or the update between the 40 client and EMS happens every 60 seconds. If we go ahead and click on the avatar, we see now that there are two tags received. One tag is internal AV, and the reason why the endpoint received it because the endpoint has um, malware protection applied. We applied the malware protection using the um, system settings. Uh, sorry, using the malware profile on the EMS. <clears throat> and the admin groups is because we are logged in with user John, and John is part of the admin groups. All right. So let's go ahead and go to the 40 gate and on the 40 gate, let's check the ZTNA. So first of all, I want to enable zero trust access. And now I'm going to go policy and object ZTNA and then ZTNA tags. Here you go. So now we see the 40 gate has two tags, admin group and internal AV. Okay. So. What we're going to do now, we're going to test the connection between the 40 client EMS. So the, the test is going to be, uh, I don't have an application, but I'm just going to be doing a ping to something in the data center 20.10, which is pinging the 40 client EMS, right? So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to apply the ZTNA tags on the policy from the internal network to the DC network. So the policy is going to have admin group ZTNA tag and logic and with secondary tag. And I want it to have a AV as well. Okay. Now, if I put both of the tags in this field, it would be considered either this tag or this tag if it's either applied the traffic is going to go through the policy but what i want it to be i want it to be the user must be having this tag and having the internal av as well click ok now i'm going to go back to the uh, 40 client ems or the endpoint machine and i'm going to ping the ems i'm able to ping the ems uh, fine uh, now um because I have both the internal AV and admin groups uh, uh, tags on the endpoint, I don't have any problem with the ping. But now what we're going to do, we're going to disable the AV or uh, anti-malware or antivirus protection from 40 client EMS. So we'll go to the zero at the endpoint profile and then we'll go to malware protection and we will disable antivirus protection now we'll go back to the john machine uh, it's going to be syncing in 20 seconds so after the sync there's going to be a check between 40 client and the ems and and that check is going to be like oh this uh, endpoint does not have malware protection applied, so I'm not going to give it the AV tags. So we see now that the malware protection have disappeared from here. And if we go to John, I don't see AV tag. So if I want to ping again, I'm not able to ping. Now the reason why, because the policy is saying 
in order for the traffic to be allowed from the internal network to the DC network both these tags have to be applied so um, that's it for uh, this lab scenario we've demonstrated how we can uh, configure the uh, uh, the uh, zero trust network access using the 40 gate 40 client and 40 client EMS for uh, internal user accessing on enterprise accessing to internal resources uh, in this video um, I did not apply uh, authentication uh, as the source but I will demonstrate that in the next videos so thank you guys for watching Please like and subscribe if you like this video. Have a good one.